Hi, welcome back. This is Tom from Millennium Blackjack. And as we, from the last uh, short history of uh, Blackjack uh, Part 3, we finished off uh, talking about uh, game control. Casinos uh, do have uh, game control. Uh, those who have been to Las Vegas recently, I played blackjack for three weeks in July this year in Las Vegas. What you will notice is that if you get blackjack and the dealer is showing uh, the up card, it's, uh, it's not a 10, it's not an ace, and the dealer still won't pay you. But as you know, usually when you've got blackjack and the dealer doesn't have a, 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 an ace uh, showing or the dealer will, might uh, peep through, then the dealer, when the dealer doesn't have a, a blackjack, will pay you uh, immediately. But they don't do it so. And it's not one casino, it's the whole uh, uh, Las Vegas, the whole strip the old downtown, all casinos. And this I noticed when I was playing blackjack in 2019, when I noticed that the strat, uh, previously the stratosphere, but now with a new management, is called the strat. You will see on introduction showing uh, the strat, uh, uh, stratosphere. I noticed in 2019 that uh, for the first time I've played uh, Blackjack in Las Vegas since 2010, every year uh, playing in Las Vegas. I noticed for the first time that at the Stratosphere, which was the only casino in Las Vegas, uh, that uh, when you bust, they wouldn't collect the cards. They will leave it there and deal. When you get Blackjack and the dealer doesn't have uh, an ace or a 10 showing, they still won't uh, pay you. They will just keep the cards there, play everything, and then only then will they pay you. But I, I could tell that uh, there's an experiment to see the collection of cards if maybe it improves their bottom line. Uh, so t indeed it was an experiment that the Strat were doing. And after the result showed that uh, actually they, it improves the, uh, the table uh, hold uh, and therefore uh, the strat uh, then change over from the old way of collecting cards when you bust or when you get a black check to the new way and all casinos in the in Las Vegas have uh, adopted that and that I saw when I was playing blackjack this July so similarly started maybe uh, uh, this year in 2022 or maybe late uh, 2021 and uh, what is game control? Game control, casinos were aware that uh, once uh, uh, players know about uh, card counting and they've got the advantage over the house, which was proven uh, or they openly admitted uh, af uh, after the second edition of uh, Beat the Dealer, then they have to now have methods to counteract that. And even more so in 1979, when Ken Houston uh, uh, sued uh, Resort International, because one of the casinos that barred him belonged to Resort International. So he sued all the casinos uh, under Resort International that they can't bar play, uh, card counters. Like as we said in the previous uh, video, Indeed, uh, Ken Houston won the case that uh, casinos can bar players, uh, card counters. And then casinos then uh, did a three-week experiment where they were checking, uh, documenting uh, each uh, so-called card counters and see how much money they win, how much money they take. And eventually, after the three-week period, they documented that uh, uh, card counters which were uh, they documented and checking on them that indeed they were winning more money than they were bringing in. For that reason casinos uh, hired the, their own mathematicians, the best mathematicians money can buy uh, as a whole in Atlantic City. Now that they cannot uh, buy card counters so they 
accumulated funds to get the best mathematicians who know blackjack and gambling to say what do we do now do we dump the blackjack game completely uh, or what do we do now so uh, like we said uh, previously the mathematicians that were hired they looked at card counting they say well there's a very good way of uh, reducing the effectiveness of card counting Firstly, because at that time most of the games were single and double deck, you have to introduce more decks. So Atlantic City introduced seven and eight decks, eight decks most popular, which is uh, what they are playing now in Atlantic City. And that's number one. Number two, uh, like you read on, uh, in the book uh, uh, Beat the Dealer, card counting becomes very effective when very few cards are left so if you read here through you will you will see when a few cards are left when actually with a single deck you can actually know this a five and a three and a nine and an ace or two aces are still coming out and two ten and so on and so on then counting becomes very very effective so they say because counting becomes very effective when cards are few the last on the eight deck the last two and a half decks or even three decks shouldn't be played so if somebody is counting uh, and, and then when counting will become effective when the two or three decks remaining those decks won't be played <laughs> so that's the first part that uh, mathematicians told the casinos which they eventually introduced the next thing was to introduce new shuffles in the past uh, even um, uh, when i started playing in uh, in the um, casinos here the casino just used a straight shuffle you know the two they just put two uh, uh, two equal decks and then you shuffle them together once and it's done and they say no that's that's not the way to do it because uh, when card counting was uh, devised by edward thorpe the premise is that cards are flowing randomly or very close to random so therefore when the count goes high then uh, you expect that the tens will come out and in most of the time the tens will come out and the card counter will have an advantage but if the cards are not random if you clump the big cards together the big cards like all uh, in large groups are together or so the small cards clump together what's gonna happen is that the card counter will count and the count will go up and that this the high the high cards nine and ten won't come out or if they come is very few and when the player has got a, a double down will catch a small cards and the dealer when he's gonna get small cards again he's gonna make a good hand and the the player has got 11 he doubles he catches a two or an ace the dealer catches a 17 or an 18 the player is gets wiped out or in some cases you will see uh, five uh, cards 21 six cards 21 seven cards 21 the last time i saw a eight card 21 in uh, las vegas <laughs> and that uh, you'll see also on uh, on the uh, social media some uh, people have reported the number of 21s that the uh, uh, dealers pull us these days is unbelievable it's because the cards are clamped and the first person to describe clapping cl uh, card clamping was uh, ken houston uh, ken ken houston uh, was playing in uh, uh, in uh, las vegas in uh, uh, caesar's palace uh, caesar's palace had introduced a new shuffle when they introduced new <laughs> new cards what can Houston call early shuffle in, uh, in uh, Caesar's Palace? So he also noticed the, the cards, the way they are flowing, that the small cards, there are too many together and the high cards are close together. And within an hour with his counting, he lost 15,000. And what he did, like we said previously, he called the, he called the Nevada 
gambling commission because he knew his ways around when casinos are playing some funny things that he was, he's got all the numbers of the important these lawyers and the uh, Nevada gambling commission to say something is funny and so on. So that's what he did. But like we said previously, the Nevada uh, gambling uh, commission personnel who came through, he said, okay, the cards look funny. He agrees on that. But the way the casino are shuffling and dealing, there's nothing he can say it's illegal uh, or uh, funny. Everything's on board no matter what the cards look like. If what he strategies he used don't work, he might have to find a different ways of uh, <laughs> of attacking this uh, 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 Caesar's uh, Palace, so-called early shuffling uh, technique. So that's uh, how uh, uh, casinos uh, uh, do uh, so-called gambling, con uh, game control, they do it. And the next thing, um, uh, there's a big story uh, about uh, in downtown Las Vegas with uh, Binion's, uh, when it was still called uh, uh, Binion's Horseshoe, when the old man uh, Benny who was the owner of the casino at that time. He was known in Las Vegas that with himself, while casinos were uh, making the game rules uh, uh, worse to, so that they are more favorable to the players and game control techniques. He was known that he said himself he's going to keep the games uh, fair and popular to the players. And his philosophy was if the tables are full there will be nights he's gonna take a knock, but however he knows that there will be nights, other nights he's gonna make money. For that reason, he said he's gonna have the 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 casino per se will also have to have a big bank roll if you have to use a gambler. So in other words, they're gonna pump some money for the blackjack so that they will have to uh, uh, accept that there will be a big fluctuation that there will be some days where they take a big knock, guys win, and there will be some days. And that's what he did. Uh, and he's used to still making uh, profits because the tables will always be full because uh, Binion's Horseshoe uh, Casino was downtown was known that it is offering the best uh, blackjack games in Las Vegas. So the tables will be full. And for that reason, he was still making enough profit that he was happy about the old man. But however, when the old man died, Benny, the, the, uh, his uh, sons, the two sons, one of the sons actually played in one table. He was watching <laughs> me play. <laughs> Obviously, it was before they sold the casino because they, now they're no longer, they sold the casino to somebody else. So, so I was playing and, uh, and, and then uh, uh, he was just seated me playing because their philosophy with the old men was they, they will allow a card, a card counters to, to have a betting spread of one to four. So in other words, if you vary your bet from one to four, they'll be happy with it. So even the dealer won't do it, do anything and the inspector won't gonna do anything while watching the game. But if you're gonna bet more than one to four, so I did play uh, when uh, the son was still uh, running the casino, uh, uh, Binion, so she in uh, downtown Las Vegas when the sons were still playing. So if you, you bet uh, more than uh, one to four, the dealer will shuffle the cards. So <laughs> it was just simple as like that. <laughs> you, 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 you 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 uh, 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 have a betting spread of more than one to four so maybe you had one bet and then you are now betting five or six or more than that the, the dealer just shuffle the cards uh, it's still they haven't reached the cutting card but they will just shuffle then that's the they, they do it the only problem with this type of thing is that obviously uh, uh, card counters were also were also quite smart that if the game is unfavorable, 
so in other words it's minus then you can raise the bet more than one to five then the dealer who might not be counting in that time will say oh uh, uh, black action or whatever uh, split and then he shuffles <laughs> And then, but you were knowing that uh, the count was negative, was favoring the house, then shuffle, maybe then uh, you level. So for that reason, they realized then, then uh, you might have problem on shuffling that uh, less uh, favorable uh, uh, decks may not be played and the uh, card counters uh, may have more advantage or uh, abuse. <laughs> Uh, this uh, shuffling technique that the uh, uh, dealers might use. Uh, or the, the other method uh, the inspectors will do, they might threaten you to say, uh, uh, you, we won't allow you to uh, bet, to have a betting spread more than this will, otherwise we don't want your services uh, uh, here. And then, uh, but more so what casinos have uh, done because this uh, type of thing, it, it uh, involves that the dealers have to Play your pick. Play your pick. 